Hey guys, I'm Britt and welcome back to my channel. So as you guys see from the title, I wanted to just basically tell you guys like my process and how I basically made my dreams come true, which for those that don't know was to play overseas at a higher level. And um, right now, you guys don't know, um, I play in Sweden. So um, I just wanted to like tell you guys what I did because when I did first put it up on social media, a lot of you guys were asking like what I did, um, how the process is. So I just wanted to basically sit down and make a video for like those out there that were wondering. But uh, before we get into the video, I did want to show you guys like where I went for Easter because Easter just happened this past weekend and it was literally so nice. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. Go. <laughs> okay, here you go. It's not bad. I mean, it was, I was expecting mm -mm. that was worse than the fish. It was like a good sauce to the fish thingy. Oh my god. They see them up at the school. The fish is fine on its own. <laughs> so, my story. Uh, it basically started back in September. Um, I decided when I moved back home from college, I was not playing soccer. I didn't know where to play soccer at in Canada. But um, this opportunity came up to for me to play with my national team. And I have in the past, but then I kind of stopped because I wanted to just to focus on school at the time. But now the actual women's team was asking for me to play and guys it's not canada i don't play for the canadian team but uh i do play for st kitts and nevis which is a small caribbean island they were going to trinidad and tobago at the time and they were playing in the world cup qualifiers um so i went down there in like september so the process basically took seven months I guess you can say starting in September yeah so I was down there and I really didn't think anything of it I was just playing soccer like having fun again like doing something with my life traveling you know being down there I realized that I was actually playing against other girls that were from Canada playing with their national teams which is also pretty cool because it just shows you how Canada is so diverse but anyways um there was a, a family down there and the dad realized that I was from Canada also. And um, he approached my family and I and basically asked if I play in Canada somewhere. And I was like, I do want to play, but I don't know if, like, I don't know the team, like, I don't know any leagues or anything. And he told me about League One. And for those that don't know it, um, it's like the highest league for women in Canada. It's semi-professional so i was like oh okay um so when i came back from trinidad i decided to research more into it and i found out that there was actually a team in my town this whole time there was a team in my town i don't know if i just you know i don't know but so i decided to contact them they're like yeah come through because um Girls were also going back to school at the time, so they needed players, and I'm done with school. So they knew that I could be like help them out. So uh, I was playing with them and everything, and then um, it wasn't until October where I found out that there was actually a guy that worked for the league and that helped women if they wanted to make it to the next level. So I hit him up in October and he basically told me like recruitment for, I mean, it's different for different countries, but majority of the countries don't start recruiting until January, February-ish. So in the meantime, just um, work on a soccer resume and a highlight tape. So during that time, I basically, I worked on my highlight tape, which is right here. I will put it in the description box below 
because I mean, at the time I didn't know how to like format it, what to do. Like I needed a template, I need an example. So like I'll put mine in the description box so you guys just have that if you need help with it. But um, so yeah, so I made that, but unfortunately I did not make a highlight tape. Uh, but I did have film um, from World Cup qualifiers. I had film on that. And then also within League One, they filmed. So I had, I had something. It wasn't nothing. Like I do have highlight tapes, but they're from college. Like they're from college, which was like three years ago, two years ago. So, uh, it doesn't just, it doesn't show how I am now. So, um, so yeah, so I used those instead of making an actual highlight tape because making a highlight tape is actually really hard and I don't know how to and I don't know someone that could help me. So yeah, I was fortunate enough that I didn't really have to make one. So um, I gave him my highlight tape. Oh, well, I gave him my resume and like the videos that I had of me and he was like, okay, that's cool. Um, he'll definitely send it to different agents and see if they could help me out. So, um, Lily, through October to January, I had no idea. Like, I didn't, like, nothing was happening. Like, I, I would email him and everything, but, like, like I couldn't get any answers. Like, it was literally just a waiting game, um, which was really hard because, like, you just don't know. So, basically, in that time period, I didn't... I, didn't really tell anyone this, but, um, I decided, like, if it wasn't gonna happen, like, if I didn't get picked up in January or February-ish, then I will probably not quit my dream, but not pursue it as my number one choice. Um, it was, it would have been time for me to, like, grow up and, like, find a full-time job, like, no, I couldn't just sit at home and wait all the time. Like, I had to literally go out and live my life. So, I decided that. So, going into uh, 2019, I actually, like, made a list, which was, like, my goals for 2019. And number one was, like, make it professionally. And if that didn't happen, then my number two on that list was find a full-time job so Lily through October to January I was applying still I was I was applying to full-time jobs like kept applying every day like it wasn't like I was just sitting for soccer like I was still doing research about other things like and it was a long process and then my number three on that list was go back to school and get my master's just in case number one and two didn't work out so those are my three my top three things for 2019 if this didn't work out then i had a back like at least i had a backup plan you know so um like literally during that time i researched soccer stuff i would still train and i decided like since i like i was only gonna have till january to fulfill this dream then I was gonna go hard like I was gonna work out by myself which I didn't like I did not like doing I was gonna have to work out I was gonna have to touch a soccer ball which was go to practice um, play an indoor league like just do extra things like even go into my basement and put like touch a soccer ball um I just like was fully committed which now looking back at it, maybe that was my downfall in the beginning because I always wanted to go play overseas somewhere after college and it just didn't work out because maybe I just like I just wasn't pushing myself to like you know, do it. I just was waiting for it to come to me and that clearly does not work, guys. But um so yeah, so I was waiting and everything and I definitely guys like <sighs> is not it wasn't easy for me like this process was process wasn't easy for me like i definitely had like sleepless nights like i would overthink everything i would literally have mental breakdowns to myself because it's like i'm trying so hard and i did not know what to do like i didn't know what more to do because i've been trying everything like 
hitting up friends that have been playing, have played overseas. Like, I'm asking them for help, and, like, they were trying to help me the best they could, but, like, it wasn't, like, clearly didn't go anywhere. Like, it was hard. Definitely hard. But, um, yeah, so coming into 2018, I decided, one, play professionally, two, find a full-time job, three, um go and get my master's if none of those didn't work out and also was just to stay positive um my mindset i don't know when it changed but it changed to like oh i'm not good enough to i believe in myself i just needed a chance i needed someone just to take a chance on me and i would show them why they chose me honestly it wasn't until late january where everything really just started getting hectic um so it came time around where it was like starting to become the uh, recruitment process. So I hit up the guy again just to remind him, hey, I'm still here. Like, I'm still really serious about this. And he was like, yeah, okay, good. This is good that you're serious and you're like on top of things and everything. So um, he sent my, he said, he told me that he just sent my resume out to some agents and hopefully that they, they get back to me. And literally, not even an hour later, an agent was getting back to me. And I was on top of it. Like, I was replying right away. Like, and then even my, my agent, which was him at the time, was like, you're very on top of it. You're, like, this is really good. It shows you, like, how committed you are. So that's maybe one thing I would say, too. Like, if you do want to accomplish like a dream like stay on top of it show people how bad you want this you know um which was again a downfall for me at the beginning like I didn't really know I just thought like hey maybe it'll just come when it comes which was I don't know why I felt like that but I did so uh clearly did not work out until I had to change my mindset but um and then, okay, so after I got in contact with my agent, um, it was really a fast process, guys. It was so fast. Like, I'm not even kidding. It was a week. It was a week. Um, he contacted me. I contacted him. I gave him the information that he wanted. And then, like, Lily, he was like, okay, I sent your information off to this team. They're really interested in you. And then, like, Lily, that weekend afterwards, he came back with me with a contract. And I was like, wow. And like, honestly, I was to the point where like, cause I like, I know, I know some of you guys ask like, why Sweden? I was like, to be honest, I would have gone anywhere in the world. Um, but it was, it's, again, it was just, I just needed a chance. I didn't care where I went, like where I was playing. Like, I just want to go somewhere and continue this dream. I just want to accomplish this dream. And that's how I literally ended up in Sweden. It was such a crazy process when it finally came. Like beforehand, I'm not gonna lie, it was hard. But still, it's still un like so surreal to me that I actually am here, you know? Like I always like dreamed of this opportunity. I almost, <laughs> this sounds so bad, but I almost gave up on it. And, um, but honestly, I'm glad I gave myself a deadline because it made me go that much harder just to try. And then if it didn't happen, I knew I did everything in my power. Like, literally everything. Like, I, I pushed myself. I was doing everything, contacting, staying on top of things, like, doing my research. Like, but... Um, it worked out. So honestly, if I can do it, you guys can probably do it. And here in Sweden, there's like, I don't know about anywhere else, but like here, there's so many leagues, so many teams. So honestly, you can make it. If you really wanted to, you can make it. I didn't really know what I was getting into, but I'm glad I did. Like, you know? So yeah, um, I really hope this helped you guys. Um, if you guys have any questions or if you just want more advice on things or you just need help with something just don't be afraid to reach out to me and I'll do my best like honestly I will if I you know like I will honestly try but um yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this video um 
remember to like and subscribe and also comment down below if you have any questions and i'll see you guys next week bye love you